So wait, this movie takes place after the original one, not the Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. You got that right, R-E-P to the S-T-E-R. That is such a relief. What's going on guys and welcome to another Reputized video. It is finally here folks, Halloween 2018. Stars Jamie Lee Curtis, Judy Greer, Andy Machak, and Will Patton. It follows 40 years after the events of the original 1978 version. This canceled out all the ones after that one. Laurie Strode has spent the last 40 years preparing to face off against Michael Myers, the masked killer who's terrorized Hattonfield all those years ago. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. It was awesome. It was great. There's only one problem I have with it, but that's small potatoes compared to the bunch of good things I'm going to talk about. First of all, Michael Myers himself. He is a force to be reckoned with in this. This movie was directed by David Gordon Green. It was written by Danny McBride, who made the character more mysterious more how he was meant to just like how he was in the original because this one's a direct sequel to that one they paid so many homages to that i felt like i was kind of watching the original one at the same time that's a really good thing too because it's been uh, so long since a true good halloween movie has actually donned the big screen they pulled it off they pulled it off pretty good nick castle and tony moran returns who was the original michael byers I read that Tony Moran, on the scenes that he's unmasked, that's him. Tony Moran is Michael Myers in those scenes. And Nick Castle provided his breathing. When he would breathe, like you would hear that creepy breathing sound in the back, that was Nick Castle. But for the most part, when you would see Michael at his finest with the mask and walking around and killing people, that guy is James Jude Courtney. And I thought he presented a Michael more than how the original Halloween 2 did. And he did a really awesome job. The lighting, the cinematography, even the music. John Carpenter comes back. I know a lot of people knows this already, but John Carpenter finally comes back. He does some of the scoring in this. And he even executive produces with Jamie Lee Curtis. Because I remember seeing that on the beginning credits. Oh, and about the beginning credits. It looked exactly like the original. The way it was written in the yellow and the outlining of the letters and the pumpkin on the side. Only it was like the pumpkin was like melted and then it just formed up as it got closer. Yeah, that was awesome. It just felt like I was watching the original one all at the same time. Jamie Lee Curtis delivers. Oh, she's a badass. I really enjoyed this Laurie Strode. I know this is like outside of the universe that, that uh, Rob Zombie did, but this Laurie, since it was the original actress, Jamie Lee Curtis, that came back was a lot better. She kind of reminded me of Sarah Connor from Terminator. Like she was preparing for 40 years to fight this monster. And they even have a voiceover of Dr. Loomis, but it wasn't the actual guy, of course. Since he died back in the mid-90s, may Donald Pleasant rest in peace. This movie was awesome. Those are pretty much my pros, but the only negative about it was people are stupid in it. They, people don't know what security systems are and how to lock their damn doors. Come on. You see a bunch of scenes where Michael is creeping in somebody's house, just like that. To me, I just, I, I didn't find that to be realistic. I mean, yeah, there probably could be a couple of people that forgets to lock their door, but this happened more than once. So I thought that was kind of, eh. But, you know, that would defeat the purpose for Michael to do what he does best. So I guess I got to give it that. But still, does anybody know what a security system and how to lock their door I mean, does anybody know any of that? <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I'm not knocking this movie, guys. It was awesome. It was a Halloween movie that I was looking forward to, and it was definitely worth the wait. We had nine years to prepare for another one, and it was definitely worth it, guys. I'm giving Halloween 2018 an A+. 
It is what it is. I hope you like this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more reviews coming soon. I will be seeing this movie again in theaters, probably two more times, before I buy it on Blu-ray. That's right. Like, subscribe, get reputized, share even, and happy Halloween. Peace to rip out.